threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Q&A is back, baby! Yeah, it's about time. Man. Isn't it about time? <laughs> We're stoked. We haven't done a Q&A in a bit. It's it's five a years? It's, 16 years? I, I think it's been remember. like three months or It's something. been a long time, though. But we're back. And I love these episodes. Yeah, you do. I feel like it's like a little bit of relaxation. Yeah. You don't have to come up with anything. Just answer a question. <laughs> Just answer questions. Pretty straightforward. Right. But reading can be tough. Yeah, reading's not easy. <laughs> it's a hard so, skill to master. You got to read. So yeah. that's the only downside. And some of them are long, <laughs> so I don't appreciate it. Yeah, so here we go. We're going to try to figure it out. Before we get to though, I got to tell you about Battle Box. It's the monthly subscription box full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, Battle Box sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at far more than what you'd normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, but here's a sampling of what users receive this month the heaven's harvest seed kit Mm -hmm. how about the ruck and river camping table that's awesome yeah all this badassness starts at just $34.99 per month they've shipped over a million boxes and one best subscription box of 2020 our listeners get a free knife when you sign up at battlebox.com slash casual preppers get your first battle box plus a free knife at battlebox.com slash casual preppers reviews starts now hmm Love it. Yeah. (laughs) Love it. Love this show. Uh Uh-huh. Learning valuable life-saving techniques and having fun at the same time. Uh Uh-huh. Cubra swell. Cubra swell? (laughs) Cubra... Broswell? Roswell? Oh, what is this? (laughs) Cubraswell. Yeah. Oh, Cubraswell. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's this is nothing. QB Raw. Yeah. yeah. Q Roswell. QB Roswell. You got that painful itch? Get some mm. Q Roswell today. Yeah. How about that? Uh, new quarterback. Side effects include blindness, <laughs> alien abduction. Upset tummy. <laughs> Everything's an upset tummy. I know. It's always yeah, a stomach unfortunately. problem. Unfortunately. Yeah. If you guys want to be a part of this portion of the podcast, go to iTunes, go to Facebook, leave us a five star review. Make it awesome. It's a mad, mad world. So, um, did you know that scientists believe we could live forever by the 2030s? I doubt it. That I'm just telling you what they're saying. I doubt it. Eternal youth seekers and investors alike are getting increasingly excited about a concept called longevity escape velocity. Lo- longevity escape velocity suggests similarly that at some point in the not too distant future, people will be able to escape the debilitating pull of death and live indefinitely. Do you understand what that means, Cam? That sounds horrible. It means that you won't (laughs) die ever. Yeah. Longevity researcher Aubrey de Grey, one of the originators of the term and perhaps its fiercest proponent, has put a very rosy best-case scenario for um, LEV, possibly impossibly close, somewhere in the 2030s. Futurist Ray Kurzweil has suggested an even earlier debut in... 2028 or 2029. That's like five years from now, basically saying that we're not going to die. That is, that is quite the, uh, yeah. And what does that mean? I don't know. It means means you won't die. Well, I know, but like the earth will be overpopulated like so fast. Yeah. Like, what are we going to have to start? Like, stop having babies, start, stop having babies. Um, (laughs) you know? Yeah. Like, uh, that's kind of creepy. Yeah. You think that all the, Tourism spots are bad now. Oh, yeah. Try going to Zion's National Park. Oh, yeah. After this. You can't go there now. I've been going here for a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 275, my granddaddy took me here. Uh, Jeez, a ways. Yeah, it's can gonna, you that's imagine? That's going to be horrible. No thanks. <laughs> Passing on that pill. Can you imagine how old our presidents are going to be? Can I lick it and get like <laughs> yeah, I know. maybe 200 get 100 years more or years? Years? Yeah. Like, like our idea. presidents are going to be like 950 years old. Yeah. I mean, that's... they look like it right now. <laughs> Act like it. Seriously. But, um... I've been president for 645 years. <laughs> I'm going to end this term. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> Please vote for me again <laughs> for my 6,000 year term. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. Weird. That's cool, I yeah. guess. I mean, I'm sure all the rich people will get the option, not us. I just got to make it to the 2030s, Cam. can do this. I can do it. So I, close. I got to start exercising and stop eating crap. <laughs> if I could just make it till then, I could take a pill and live forever. Yeah, because you don't want to get to that point and yeah. from that point be yeah. uh, the rest of your life. Yeah. You're like, but it me. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I mean, like somebody like Joe Biden makes it and he's like 95. Yeah. yeah, no, he doesn't need one. You don't take the pill probably, right? <laughs> yeah. Unless it reverses it. I don't Could know. Can you imagine prolonging the life of all the like dementia, that's what I'm elderly saying. people? Yeah. That ain't good. No, thank you. Keep them alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only good thing to do. There's no way that, yeah, the earth can't keep up. Yeah. Too many people. She's chugging too hard right now. <laughs> Just like, dum, 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 dum. barely making it. That's what the earth sounds like. It's like the old washing machine. <laughs> That's like about to get making out. a noise, squealing, you know. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's like all the grease is worn out. Yeah. Spinning. Oh, Bearings man. are giving. Yeah, it's not good. No. Not good. <laughs> He's so heavy, you fall right out of the universe. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Fall right out to sky. So, um, uh, this isn't really mad, mad world, but I thought it was important. Okay. Boeing's Starliner yeah. spacecraft lifts off for the first time today. And it had some people in it, right? <laughs> it did. Yeah. Doors blew off halfway on the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. But I am interested in this because, man, it's going to change things. Where are they going? In space. Just like low Earth <laughs> orbit or what? I don't know. I I wondered that too. I, mean, I just thought like we're seeing like more uh, sp- the push to, you know, go yeah. to space. Yeah. I would love to live a thousand years, but at least let me see space. Yeah. I'm hoping there's an opportunity. Yeah. Honestly, I doubt I'll be able to afford it. I've but. been watching a lot of different like futurist type stuff, like what's it going to be in the next ten to fifteen yeah. years, and like especially with AI, man, I should, it feels like we're going to have like some insanely huge, rapid. There's going to be some tech jumps, yeah, yeah. big time, like Super really fast. big. So I'm good like, and bad. Kind of excited to see what happens. Although I'm probably going to be out of a job. I assume. Yeah, all of us. Um, I mean, I'll there's be right be there with you. Bro. AI podcasters are on their way. Oh, They're going to be yeah. so much better than us. They're going to talk good. <laughs> They're going to look good. Yeah, read flawlessly. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, we're just going to be out of a job. Yeah, but yeah, space would be cool. So yeah, I want to check it out now. More commercial space, you know, involvement. Boeing. I don't know if they have the best record right now, but yeah. But the thing is, like, I'm excited to see like what we're going to be able to do in space. It's yeah. coming. Mm. Good thing we have a space team, a space, uh, what is it, space, space force. force? Yeah. Yeah. Good thing yeah. we got that going. Thank you, Donald Trump. You gave us one of them. <laughs> Pretty good. Get it back in there. Yeah. <laughs> Get up there in space. Force stuff. Do it. Force stuff. <laughs> I don't know what are they doing up there. <laughs> force that spaceship right in there. Yeah. Push hard. <laughs> force it. Out the atmosphere. Don't worry about the resistance. <laughs> Push in there. Resistance is futile to the space force. <laughs> <laughs> Enter any way you can. <laughs> just, just plow right through. <laughs> just goes on forever. <laughs> just keep saying random crap oh, like that. Man. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah. So we're doing Q and A today, and we're excited. Yeah, about we are. It. Welcome back to the club, y'all. <laughs> um, so many questions. Uh, why you guys got so asking? many questions? Yeah, there were a lot, so we didn't get to all of them. So yeah. we didn't get yours. Yours wasn't good enough. <laughs> Um, no, it, is, just, it is a good thing that you pulled them up. Like after saying that, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'd probably be like, it's got five words, good enough. <laughs> I know that's a, that was a paragraph. I'm not yeah, putting that in. We can't just we can't do them all. That's what we're saying. But yeah. you'll have more chances. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be around forever, <laughs> waiting for the. Once <laughs> we, we just gotta make this podcast last to 2029. <laughs> we're gonna live. So keep forever. us alive until then. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. This came from Wilderness R N. Is that like a resident nurse yeah. or a RN? Um, return Norman. Return. Okay. <laughs> my wife return says. Return to normal. Uh, my wife says I have too many backpacks. Your wife is wrong. Um, but I think I don't have near enough. 
I have different packs for hunting, fishing, travel, camping, hiking, biking, backpacking, <laughs> bugging out, bugging in, zombies, and for when things get froggy. How many packs do you guys recommend, and do you agree that I don't have nearly enough? My wife actually listens to you guys without rolling her eyes, like some other podcasts, so any help would be appreciated. Keep up the awesome content. I'm glad she listens without rolling her eyes. My wife rolls her eyes. Yeah. Freaking. Uh, man, it sounds like we're married to the same woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. Um, yeah, I don't think you have enough, man. No, right? And um, listen, I've never been more proud of a listener. Yeah, Cam's all about it. Than hearing someone else, the backpack have queen, backpacks all yeah. over. Yeah, knights you, the backpack <laughs> yeah. queen. <laughs> you could be the backpack jester, <laughs> <laughs> the jester. Uh, but yeah, um, seriously though, mm. I'm excited to see someone else takes backpacking backpacks serious yeah <laughs> um I, I think everyone needs needs at least four that's kind of what i think. yeah that like, probably covers most of them, right? right so you get you need a bug out bag you need a get home bag or an edc bag type thing you need that everyday bag that you can just like throw whatever in not like an everyday carry bag but more one like if you're gonna go do something yeah real quick Somebody, <laughs> I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to throw a bunch of I'm doing something real fast. Be right back. <laughs> I got to go mow the lawn and put it on my backpack. <laughs> yeah. Got to put my stuff in there. That's a good you That's know? a good thing you mentioned that. I don't have a mowing lawn backpack. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to get one going. Yeah. And then you need like a camping and a hiking pack, the one that you take out for that. For sure. Yep. No, I think, yeah, I think you covered all the ones that I Did I? You, you've got to have those packs. You do. I have like my, uh, my everyday is basically my work pack. Right. Yeah. And, every, you know, I even had somebody just recently say, was it your prepper pack? I'm like, yeah. it is my prepper pack. Is it just like full you of Shut your mouth. It just has Q-tips in it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For work. It probably does. <laughs> just a bunch of Q-tips. But I can't tell you how many people have come to me asking for some, like a tool of some sort. Yeah. You know, you got a screwdriver? You got a, you got a buzz saw in there? You got channel there. locks in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got an impact wrench in there? <laughs> I can borrow. Yeah. 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 And how about a table they're, saw? They're very happy that yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. I probably do have a table saw on there. Right. Yeah. It's true. But yeah, anyway. Get you one. Keep two. Keep adding to it. More you backpacks the better. Your wife will come around to it. She'll come around. She ain't rolling her eyes right now. <laughs> yeah, she ain't rolling her eyes yet. You're all so good, you're buddy. good. Um the preparedness guy. Mm -hmm. If you live in a poke a uh, polka lock lip. <laughs> polka dot. <laughs> Video game. Look at that. First yeah. question. Couldn't yeah. even read it. Freaking killing it. <laughs> if I you had to can't live... wait to get that damn AI co-host <laughs> that says all the words right. <laughs> no more poke a lock lips. Yeah, poke, poke your eye lips. <laughs> if what? you had to live in a post-apocalyptic video game, mm. which one would it be? One as the main character and one as an NPC. Yeah. Da -da -da -dang, da -da -dang. Da -da -da dang Yeah. Um for me, I think so not my favorite game, but I love the aesthetics of the game is Fallout. It's great. Do you know yeah. like that like mm -hmm. retro the music but also, playing in the background? Yeah. Like the old Yeah. yeah. It's like good retro, stuff. like atomic age, but also futuristic. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, it is very cool. So I'd like to hang out in that world a bit. Other I'd than like, like to check that world out. The radiation and all that's not cool. Yeah. But no. And the fallout. That's you know, bad. Bad. Yeah. But you could shoot your own atomic bomb. Yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah, do that. Um, I'd say the division. Yeah, man. Just because Boy, like that game was got fun. the coolest guns. They do coolest gear. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I mean, you're downtown, but you basically control most areas. Sure. And so, I I think I'd say the division would okay. be an awesome one. And you're like, you know, in the mecca of like finding, you find all kinds of stuff in the city, right? Like what? Like people. Okay. <laughs> But the other thing, the bad thing would be the other people have nice guns. For sure, yeah. Shooting at you. And, like, if I'm talking about story that I want to live through, uh, The Last yeah. of Us, man. Come yeah. On. Yeah. Never never a better story in a video game. Yeah, that's true. Probably. And in Fallout, I would be an NPC in Fallout, not the main character. Okay, yeah. Because then you do all the weird glitchy they stuff. They do say funny, weird stuff. And they're like, yeah. head spins on their shoulders and yeah. stuff. That'd be cool. I get that. So That's a good question. This one came from Dylan, 5446. Mm -hmm. Dylan. Um, you're attacked by a grungy hobbit. You successfully take him down. You have to submit him or he won't stop. Um, what submission are you hitting? A, mother milk. B, toehold can be risky with hobbit toenails. Mm -hmm. C, wrist lock. 
also risky. D, no hands north south choke. I don't know if these are real. Mm. Are they real? They are, actually. All of them? They're all real. Okay. I just yes. said north south choke sounds pretty clean. Yeah. It might does. be not might be awful. I don't know. Yeah, you'd be good. But I don't know. You'd hit it, probably so. on a little hobbit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with mother's milk. But I, we don't call it mother's milk at the gym. We call it leche de padre because we're all. <laughs> that we're all sounds men. pretty cool. It's basically just smothering somebody with your titties. <laughs> you know, giving them the mother's milk. That, that's a good one. I think I've heard you mention that one actually. Yeah. So that's probably why I do that stinky little hobbit trying to hurt me. Mother's milk. Give him some mother's milk. Yeah. Take that's this. Cool. Yeah. Here's your second verse. Those are awesome for yeah. your names. Yeah. That that alone makes me want to get in. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I want to say those words to people. Yeah, I want to be part of this. Yeah, let me do it. So yeah, um, Lobo McKnight. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, did you get the new Lobo McKnight? <laughs> like one. <laughs> so yeah, isn't that, that him? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, wasn't that Brian, Brian McKnight? Brian McKnight. Yeah, I was thinking about British knights, like the. Oh shoes. yeah, those you know are I mean? freaking cool. McKnight's a cool last name. Yeah, I hope that's cool. your last name. McKnight. <laughs> he's it's not like, just a knight. He's a McKnight. Yeah, he likes to go eat a McDonald's at night <laughs> in the evenings. Yeah. McKnight. Yeah, that's awesome. McDuggets at McKnight. <laughs> and he's a wolf. And he's a wolf. A Lobo oh McKnight. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. a cool book. Lobo McKnight. Jeez, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a Batman wolf, maybe. Yeah. McKnight. But in the Middle Ages? Middle it, maybe. That's a cool book. I'd mm. Write it. Write Robo it. McKnight. Get it done. Mm -hmm. Okay. The aliens are invading. You can only pick one song to blast at their ship to mm. convince them not to fight us. What song are you picking? Yeah. Um. This is hard to do. This is kind of hard. Yeah. I went with Ba What the Bada. Uh, ba What the Ba the Bangy Dang. Because they'd be like, what the from Kid Rick. Yeah, Kid Rick. <laughs> That's what it says, Kid Rick. Kid, I was wondering, like, must be it. Kid Rock. Yeah. yeah. But I would Kid play Rick. that because they'd be like, ah, not the sieve that we want to destroy. This is stupid. What a wrong bunch of idiots. I loved it when it came out. It was a then, cool huh? song. It was fun. Actually, um, when I wrote that down, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to watch that video. <laughs> so freaking redneck. It had like all the midgets. He's and all stuff. wearing like all the bling. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. Man, this element's good. The black cherry lime. I'm Dude, all about the, it. The citrus is awesome. It's so good. Um, let's see. I went. I had two of them. And the first one is Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys. That's a good one. Just because, like, you know, it makes that sense. That seems welcoming. It kind of does, but it's also like they're spitting these rhymes out. Yeah. These three white boys. <laughs> and I think that's intimidating yeah. to um, an alien civilization. Like, what are these guys? I'll stir fry you in my walk. Like, what is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really confuse them. But also, like, that's catchy. And this is really good. Yeah, they're like, man, yeah. they're more advanced than we thought. Yeah, like, there's something going on here that we don't understand, most likely. So that's yeah. what I've seen. And it's just that beat, you know. It's so good. It is a good beat. It, it might be my beat. favorite Beastie song, even though it's, you know, later stuff. But it's so good. Uh, the second option would be Men in Black by Will Smith. From from Men in Black, right? Mm, that's a good one too. Yeah, just because they'd be like, "Oh, there's Men in Black. They're gonna Here come yeah. yeah, and they'd be like, "What does? What are they gonna do? Yeah, what is it? What's happening? These are the people that are controlling this yeah. planet. So, that's so I was, yeah, that's why I'd go with that. That's a good one. Yeah, good answer. That's all I had. All right, okay. All right, Wolf Knight, McKnight, Wolf McKnight. This one came from Dylan Slaughter. Dylan mm. Slaughter, maybe I don't know. <laughs> um, if an EMP goes off. What are the most onslaughter? Dill Dill onslaughter. <laughs> D ill on. Ill. D ill. Dill uh. onslaughter. Dill onslaughter. Laughter. <laughs> it's laughter. Dylan's laughter. <laughs> Dylan's laughter. What? I don't know what this is. Is it Dylan's laughter? That's a good one. Dylan's laughter. He's fun. He's yeah. fun guy. Laughing all the yeah, time. I don't know, man. Dylan's, Dylan's laughter. laughter. Yeah. If an EMP goes off, what are the most affected items? Batteries, cell phones, electrical transformers? Question mark? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, really those devices with the most delicate electronic components, like with have microchips and transistors, those are super vulnerable to this kind of stuff. High voltage equipment, like the transformers and the generators, obviously. Uh, devices with those sensitive circuits, microcontrollers, sensors, cell phones, comms devices, laptops 
Our laptop is still working. We had some issues. If this goes off behind us at some EMP. point during the show, it's not our fault. We did our best. It's an EMP. It's an EMP. Um, critical medical equipment, like those life support devices, MRI machines, stuff like that. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. I know, we don't know. No. But I would just expect anything digital to possibly yeah. be lost. So mm-hmm. try to live without it. If you can. I would just get rid of all of it right now. Yeah. Don't carry your phone. Just just rely watch on watch TV. Rely on Dylan's Turn laughter. Turn your power. <laughs> yeah. Rely on his laughter. I bet you Dylan's laughter That's probably went true. off big time. Yeah. Just, just just now. Barely. Just now. <laughs> yeah. He they brought Dylan's laughter. Yeah. It's like a yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's what it's dumb, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I don't mm-hmm. know. Reading Rainbow book. Yeah. Dylan's laughter. <laughs> Dylan's it's like this little kid who dies. <laughs> It just sounds sad. It does. It sounds like, like a, a movie that you watched like in the third or fourth grade. It really does. Like, like Cypher in the Snow. <laughs> we had we had the same thing. Yeah, Dylan's laughter. <laughs> it does sound Dylan's like Dylan's laughing a hor- on the bus. He like gets a- off the bus. He falls into the snow. <laughs> dead. Dead. Yeah. Dylan's laughter. He was dead way before. What's the last thing you heard? It was Dylan's laughter. Yeah, it's probably mm-hmm. like some really bad medical problem yeah you have to watch the whole show and he doesn't make it in the end yeah but they brought dylan's laughter yeah he laughed all the way till he died (laughs) you know as he was dying as he was dying (laughs) and everybody was scared because no one wants a dying kid to laugh (laughs) and then even after his heart stopped he was still laughing so they called it a new medical condition called dylan's Dylan's laughter (laughs) laughter. (laughs) it killed him one in a billion people get it (laughs) dylan's laughter it's contagious too (laughs) So many ways yeah. you could go with that story. Yeah, know, yeah. Dylan's laughter. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen Dylan's laughter? It's pretty sad. What's that saying? My parents would give me the DVD and be I like, hey, I'm never going to watch that. <laughs> yeah. We watch it on Family Movie Night. It's like the Christmas, uh, yeah. You know? They always have some really terrible Christmas DVD to give us. Oh, do they? This one's about the life of First President of the Church. <laughs> yeah. Something. It's like, oh. I don't know. Anyway. I'll throw that one in the trash as soon as I get home. <laughs> it's like they're not done well. Oh, no. It's not like I don't no. like the story. But they had $85 the acting... to make the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always mm-hmm. a Utah produced, like, oh, just terrible. So bad, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, are we on? Beekler. Beekler beans. I don't, know, I don't eat nothing but Beekler beans. <laughs> I get coffee every morning from Beekler beans. It's popping hot and ready to go. <laughs> Beekler beans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're back. What's that sound? That's my question laughter. is: That's, <laughs> that's right. Hold on, let me put my book down. Dylan's laughter. Yeah, Gilda. Um, we're back. We're my back. question is: Are you guys worried about the upcoming election? I've seen some preppers who are going balls to the wall prepping, but I I want to know what your thoughts are on it. It's been a real weird election cycle this year, and it's bizarre seeing hardly any ads when I used to get. Uh, used to be mm. getting spammed every four years. Uh, it makes it feel like it's uh, ooh, okay. It feel it feel it feel makes it, it makes feel. it feel <laughs> ominous. I think he's trying to say I feel it makes it feel <laughs> ominous. It feel it make it feel <laughs> ominous. <laughs> <laughs> say that ten times fast. I feel it makes it feel ominous. The I, yeah. the AI co host could have figured it out. Yeah, I would have I would have yeah. processed that before mm-hmm. I read it. Yep. Um. Look. I'm not worried. Yeah. I just, uh, we. how many times have we been here? A million times. Yeah. Maybe not that many, but quite a few times we've been here. Every four years. Look, we're eight years into this nightmare. <sighs> yeah, so we're recording this on Wednesday. On Saturday is our eight-year anniversary right, as a been, podcast. It's probably been longer than that. We've been in, what, 12 yeah. year nightmare. Yeah, I mean, we had, yeah. So, like, we've been doing this a long time. We've been through a lot of election cycles. Every single election cycle, people are like, this is the election to end all elections. Everyone will die at the end of this election. Like, every single time, yeah. right? It's not going to ha- happen. Everything's fine. Look, continue to prepare as normal. But, yeah. sure, keep an eye on things, especially when the election gets closer. Yeah. You know, you Check out what's happening. You know, maybe the day of the election, you do a little bit more prep work. You fill up that gas tank. You might review your emergency plans. You might be listening to the news a little bit more that day. But don't don't worry. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Yeah. I wouldn't worry is. at all. No. Look at these two characters mm. and think, hey, mm. I can give you nuclear codes to yeah. end the world. Yeah. 
I have to trust both of you. Yeah, just take them. Each of you have a set. I don't so, care. So I don't know what you're worried about. See, I'm less worried now because I'm almost 100% positive this is a simulation. Like, I, <laughs> I'm i like 99% sure this, this is not This pretty much proves real. it, right? There is a t- alien teenager watching over us right now. I'm laughing. Laughing. Dylan's laughter. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan is the name of this alien who is running our Dylan's simulation. Dylan's laughter running the Earth yeah. sim. Yep. Anyway, so yeah. It's true, man. Work. It has to be a sim because mm-hmm. this would not play out in any other real life Mm-mm. scenario. No, definitely wouldn't. <laughs> Ugh. All right, you got anything else on that one? Nope, that's okay. it. Oh, so, yeah, what was it I put here? I'm just worries. You're just worries. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Okay, sounds good. I'm just worries. That's great input. <laughs> I can't wait for that AI co-host. Typo. Yeah. Um, This one came from Christopher Hogan. That's Ooh. Hulk's cousin, probably. It nephew. It is. Hulk's nephew. <laughs> um, I love this podcast. Recently, I got my wife to listen to an older episode, which resulted in us going shopping and building new get home Making bags. out. <laughs> we got frisky right in the middle of that thing, and I don't know what it was. It was your voice, maybe. I Both our tops came off. Yeah. I mean, my socks were off in like 10 seconds. <laughs> I don't know why it was socks first. But <laughs> it was it on. <laughs> Yeah, her that's stay. okay. Couldn't get her socks off, but I got her shirt off. <laughs> uh, you guys have got magic voices. <laughs> magic voices. Yeah. Um, he's going to love this. Sorry, Chris. Uh, it was the gear draft episode from 2022. Man, was that really that long ago? That can't be right. Can wow. It? I bet it is. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's crazy. Uh, are you planning on doing another gear draft? This year, with different scenarios also, would you be interested in building a mobile game to help spread prepping awareness? Stay survived. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I was giving it a little extra there. Yeah. That was a fun episode. Dude, yeah. I'd like to do something similar to that. Like what? A draft (laughs) 2.0. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. I don't know. Um, But that one was fun. So, maybe. Yeah, I I think it'd be You put it on our radar. So, thank you. Have some sort of a specific scenario you're drafting gear for. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. What was that? And there's a lot of bubbles in this. Did you burp? Yep. Mm-hmm. The element has quite has the right kick. amount has a kick of carbonation. It. Love it. But as far as the mobile game is concerned, I think it'd be fun. That'd be way fun. Yeah, I'd be all about it. We we were like had considered apps at one point, mm-hmm. but we're dumb. We don't have friends that do any software engineering no. and so mm-hmm. that's where that's where it ends. Here we are, still <laughs> podcasting after eight years. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Go out for a steak dinner once a year for the income. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. There you go. But yeah, um, I don't know. A game would be cool. I don't know what it would be. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so say, that bubbles, man, are getting you. <laughs> it's just freaking like totally shut down my it's like a sphincter. Demon it's coming, coming out your belly. Up. Jeez. It's all coming back up. Yeah. So come so back. <laughs> so come back. I was gonna up now. sing. I was gonna sing yeah. that same thing. Yeah, of course you were. So, uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Me? Think of that game, and we'll prove it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll put our stamp on there. It's like a prepper podcast studio that you have to organize the gear in the back. <laughs> you have to say all the words right <laughs> to get to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pass it. I can't. I haven't can't, got past the first can't level. Got past the first level. Yet. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Sure, it would be funny if it was a word game. Yeah, <laughs> got to read his whole words flawlessly. Yeah, you want to take it, you Aaron know. Pervert? <laughs> yeah, the pervert. Purpose. You gonna put that in your purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta carry my wife purpose because she went to the bathroom. <laughs> I really wish a purse was called a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of stuff in that bag. Yeah. That purpose. Man. Man. That's a per- perfect purpose. How much stuff you carry in that purpose? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, mm. um, any tips for surviving an alien abduction and avoiding getting probed? He's worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's super he's worried. worried about it. Aaron. Well, A. A. Ron. Here's some tips. Okay. Don't investigate weird blue orbs or a possible UFO. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Like- that's so hard, though. You want to. Yeah. That's After it. listening, you're like, I don't want to be part of the podcast. I got to see what's going on. Yeah. So, how do you not? But I'm just saying, it yeah. looks suspicious. See something, say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call the right people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, rarely, rarely do you ever hear of like intelligent people being abducted. 
Yeah, usually it's dumb dumbs. So yeah. if you want to just halt where you're at in life, don't learn anymore, you'd probably be safer. You mean... Oh, no, the other way around. You want to learn more. You need to be, like, above a 70 IQ. Hell, I'm going to get abducted tonight. (laughs) I think you've been abducted already. Um, The other thing is uh, I was reading that some people say that they're more interested in multidimensional beings, you know, of those that are, like, physical, etheric, and astral. So if you're, like, into all that stuff, you might be more susceptible to an abduction. No, just... Be simple. Just chill out. Yeah. 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 Go to Walmart. Come home. And if you do, do get abducted, stuff. yeah, I'm going to say don't resist. Just let them do their just thing. Just let them, yeah. Resist. You don't want more is, tears than you need. They're just going to push it in there anyways. <laughs> right? <laughs> force yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Force it. Yeah. Don't uh, resist. Don't resist. Just get sore. Yeah. Um, it's just like if you're in a car wreck, you're supposed to let loose. Because when you tense up, you get hurt worse. Did you yeah, know that? Yeah. So it's a lot. It's the same thing with getting probed. Yeah, usually when I come to stop by, it's going limp. <laughs> I never. I'm just like so relaxed when I'm driving. Every intersection I pull through, I yeah. just go limp. <laughs> just, just in case I get T-boned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's going to pay off one day. I'm alive. I'm going to make it 2029. 20, That's right. Um, Cam once told me uh, the aliens have a really hard time with <laughs> intricate or delicate locks. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, this is something that he had talked about on a podcast think, yeah. a million years ago. So I thought maybe you could wear some sort of a chastity belt that covers your anal region. Yeah. It has a lock that has, like, a code, like, really tiny things you got to turn, you know, like those master locks. Yeah. They're not, like, it's going to be so hard for them put to get in like, Put on, like, a Houdini straitjacket with one lock on it. Yeah. You're safe. You're pretty much safe. They can't get it off. You can't get out. They're going to be like, screw it. We're going to go to the next anus. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not worth it. Yeah. The anal probe is, you know, we'll just get somebody else. They've all got anuses. Let's yeah. find another one. <laughs> right? That's true. As far as we know. They all got the same hole. Yeah. Pretty sure. And this one's as good as the next one. The next one's <laughs> as good as this one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So then they just send you home. Yeah, uh, it's true. Right? Yep. I don't know. You got a good point there. I do. Yeah. Uh, this one came from Morgan Mears. Mm. Morgan Mears. That's a sounds like a made up. I'm name. all Mears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many mirrors you had? They're gonna answer this question. I'm yeah. all mirrors. That's the fifth mirror I've eaten and drank tonight. Um, <laughs> mirror. <laughs> mirror. What's our last name? will be <laughs> Mears. Mears. Mr. Mirror. Uh, what do you think is the ideal length of time to live? Assuming you scale your physical aging to match it, hundred years, five hundred years, one thousand years. Man, that's hard. This is very hard, and I thought about it for a while. Yep. I okay. Did. I feel like there should be a 250 in there. <laughs> I feel like. But there's not. No, so I had to go with 500. You went 500, you Yeah. Too. Yeah, that's what I did, too. Look. I didn't even seem too long. 500, that's a ridiculously long life. That's yeah. a long time to be living. But the good thing is you're scaling. Yeah, you're scaling. But that still makes like the last 150 years gonna be rough, crappy. Yeah, but I think you could just kill yourself at that point. The pudding, oh yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? There's only so much tapioca to go around. <laughs> uh, but think about all the knowledge and like in all the experience, like you could in 500 years, yeah, that's like a that's lot. so much. And all you know, and I'm getting to the point in my life, like with my kids, that I'm starting to freak out that like they're gonna leave soon. Like it's starting to freak yeah. me real hard. Like I'm flipping my lid a bit, and I don't like it. But then if you scale that, like I'll have like a hundred years at home with my kids. That's true too. It's a long time. Yeah. Right. And good so, and bad. Good and bad, mostly good. They're at the like it gets better. I think I don't know. I love little kids, but I think it's my wife is the opposite. She liked them little. I'm like I like them big, man. They can talk. Yeah. They can eat by themselves. They poop on the toilet. Yeah. They go do cool stuff now. Mine are in that weird transition. Like in the middle age, they the, can't get the out of ages. Those, Yeah. Yeah. So it's annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. But um, you know, just think though. It would be really hard if you think about like how much society changes in 500 years. Yeah. Can you make those transitions? I mean, you think about it, go back 500 years. That's like the, we're in the 1500s. Yeah, that's crazy. Till now. Think about how much stuff you see change. Like, can you, I don't know. I don't know if I could figure it out. That's a lot of change. That's a lot of change. I mean, I don't know. I don't think my body would like 
the stuff that you would want to do and mm-hmm. experience, like, I don't you'd know. just be broken. It's scaling, though. So is That's a up, lot of broken bones over that amount of time. It's yeah. a lot of injury. Like, you just sure. scarred up, too. You might be, <laughs> yeah. You might be, like, super scarred. That's right. I don't know. But emotionally. Emotionally scarred, for sure. Dylan's tear. Dylan's, Dylan's laughter, laughter would right. be <laughs> curing everything. Yeah. So you went with 500, then? I went with 500. Okay. I think that's excessive, but okay. since there's no 200 mm-hmm. or 250, I wanted to do more than 100. Okay. So. Okay. In that range. In a range. When I hit 250, blow my brains out. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'll look forward to that. Um, if you guys didn't know, electrolyte deficiency or imbalances, they can cause headaches, cramps, fatigue, weakness. And as people who want to be prepared and ready for anything, the last thing you need is something that will slow you down when you need to be ready the most. That's why we at Casual Preppers have teamed up with Element. It is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing that you don't. We think it's perfect for bug-out bags and EDC kits because it contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 miggies of magnesium. Casual Preppers listeners, you get a free, free Element sample pack when you make any drink mix purchase through our exclusive Casual Preppers link. That's one packet of every flavor for completely no monies. Free. Uh, and they also offer no questions asked refunds on all orders. Uh, so, anyways, you can get this the first time. <laughs> That's a real gritty free. <laughs> well, well, no. Free. Free. Um, and you can get it the first time you order, the second time you order, the 100th time you order. <laughs> when you're 500 years old and you're still getting your element. Yeah. Right? This is how you're going to make it there. Yeah. Also, you can get this stuff, the fizzy element stuff it's yeah. so good yeah i'm all about it i actually this citrus one is awesome it's delicious so so go to drink element.com slash casual preppers it's the only place you're going to get this deal um you get your free sample pack get you all your other good stuff See. element yeah l-m-n-t <laughs> got it got it all right mm-hmm. bill fry yeah he was hoping he was he we, for it. a minute i he didn't think that his mm-hmm. question made it but here it is mm-hmm. and it's a good one What's your preferred brand of tools? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I prefer Cobalt or Harbor Freight in a pinch. Yeah. Dude, we would get along good. Would you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the, basically the stuff I use is the same. Is it? Cobalt, Ryobi. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one's Home Depot, one's Lowe's. Basically the same the stuff. The cool thing is with Cobalt and Ryobi, if you mix them, it's Kobe. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool, huh? With a K, like it should be. And now, <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, yeah, so I like Ryobi stuff, man. Okay. It's affordable. It's good quality, and it's mm. bright green. Can't lose it. Can't lose. I it. like that. Yeah. And then I buy. I mean, some people get real snobbish about their tools. Mm. Like my brother's that way. Is he? Like, Dewalt or die. Dewalt. Yeah, I mean, it's good stuff. It is great stuff. Yeah. But um, I haven't had any problem with my my Ryobi stuff. Mm. And I do buy quite a bit of Harbor Freight. Too. It's cheap. I yeah. can leave it where I finished fixing something. Yeah. And I'm good to go. You're good to go. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I do not have a brand that I prefer. I have like a bunch of mixed I don't stuff. really either. Like there's, I just, I can whatever. understand as a mechanic, I'd probably want like Snap on or sure. something. Sure. Yeah. But for me, losing tools and yeah, I don't really care. leaving them around. Yeah. Never fixing anything. I've just never gotten to the point where I'm like, I gotta have this one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's true. I mean, I like the color yellow, so maybe I go with DeWalt. You know, mm-hmm. expense. Those are yellow, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, anyways, there's a lot of good ones out yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. This one came from Survival Shark. I don't know if that's his name. Oh wow! Or just like his character in a game of These some guys sort. Guys are all in on us. Yeah. If Earth's landmass was no longer viable to live on due to insert whatever circumstance here, would it be more practical to become a star-faring civilization? or an ocean-inhabiting civilization? Well, look, I'm going with ocean-inhabiting. I mean, it's just pretty insane to try and get into the stars right now Living for yeah, everybody. It's exactly. too hard. It's Way too much. Yeah. R- too many resources to get yeah. anything done. Like, we got boats right now. And we, can, we can go. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> you might be throw up. It's going to be weird. <laughs> okay? It's going to be like... <laughs> like you got out of the ocean, it's all salty. Yeah. But uh yeah, we got boats right now. We can go live on boats. Yeah. Right. It, the ocean has so much more to offer. It does. Like there's space food is hard. there. Mm-hmm. It's fun. 
There's mermaids. Yep. Merman. Merman. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> um, and uh, from one of my last Mad Mad World, there's aliens down there too. There is. So, so you're getting aliens either them. way. Yeah. But this way we don't have to build spaceships. We can just hop on the boats that we already have. Yeah. Um, and live there. And you maybe can get on a submarine and get down below. Yeah. I don't know. As like, long as there's an ocean. Yeah. There's a temperate climate, right? And we can build like floating cities, right? It's I mean, true. they did it in Waterworld. They did. Kevin Costner eventually grew gills. Maybe we would too. That'd be awesome. You know? It's a dream come true. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Yep. So anyways, go on with that. Yeah, the ocean makes way more sense here. It really does. Yep. Certain, plus, if you love sharks like you do, yeah. that's the way you're, yeah, not you, exactly. but survival shark. Yeah, survival shark. Yeah. yeah. Matt Moses Thompson. Matt Sweet Moses Thompson. <laughs> Matt Moses Thompson. This is like, got to be a pastor or something. <laughs> Matt <laughs> Moses Thompson. I don't know. It kind of just sounds like a sports nickname or something, you know. That's I don't true. Know. Yeah. Matt Moses Thompson. Most yards in one game. Yeah. Splits the, Ohio State. Splits the defense. Matt Moses <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> you know, parts the defense. <laughs> <laughs> Crimson Tide split right through it. <laughs> split right through it. <laughs> Man, Moses Thompson. Man, Moses Thompson. Wandering around the, <laughs> the field. I don't know. Yeah, he's great. Trying to come up with something. <laughs> um, uh, when are we doing a Casual Prepper podcast holiday cookout camp out in Vernal? Vernal. With an E. With an E. Yeah, I don't know, man. If someone wants to like take the lead to set something that's up, that's the problem. I don't want to take a lead to do it. I don't want to try. I'll show up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll show up, but like th there would be nothing worse than going through all this trouble, it, like us going through trouble to set something up and nobody shows up or like one that would person. Hurt. That would hurt me. Or like one person shows up, that'd be even worse. Yeah, he's like, I'm Matt Moses Thompson. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Let's <laughs> hang out. Been asking years for I, you guys to do this. I'm going to make the hot dogs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it would be so awkward. It would be. Nobody shows up. It's just me and Cam. It's probably what would barbecue. happen too. So. Yeah. We ain't doing it. But if somebody wants to like figure it out and do it, yeah, and we'll set be it there. Up, we'll both be there. We'll show up. We'll take shifts. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> no, we're gonna go at the same time. <laughs> no way in hell I'm going by myself. Seriously, that's not safe. No, that's, it isn't. It's <laughs> not safe at all. No. <laughs> we don't know what kind of weirdos we got listening. They got probed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they took a sample. I'm your number one fan. <laughs> Here, eat my hot dog. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> <laughs> read this for me yeah oh uh, yeah okay so okay maybe if you want to put it together matt yeah moses thompson mm, sweet sweet moses uh did i read that one i think i did maybe you did no i did you did okay bryce beeler the i don't know what to say four wheeler king <laughs> come on down to bryce beeler i'll say you four wheeler <laughs> something like that that's all I could come up with. It's still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wheeler. Grass yeah. wheeler. Uh, uh, okay. You get yourself a healer. Yeah. Um, love the podcast first and foremost. Besides a pallet of 556 and MREs to keep me out of trubbers, I recently got a new pickup. <laughs> I was wondering if a guy would be better off with a hard shell canopy or leaving the truck open for hauling stuff. Mm hmm Yeah, good question. Yeah, I love that you put Trevor in there. Yeah. Get add Trevor. Brass Beeler can't put a four-wheeler in there if he's got a hard <laughs> shell on him. It's okay. a dilemma. It's a dilemma. See what if you catch your peppers, what they yeah. do. Um, look, I'm going with hard shell. Yeah, for sure. Dude, they, they're good stuff. You got you can sleep in there. Yeah. Not getting rained on. They don't always make it look better. Not always, like, no. In a way, they kind of look they worse. Sometimes, Sometimes they, they do. Depends on which one but you get. I get it. You don't want to take away the style. Yeah. But I would get one for sure. For sure. I grew up basically in mm -hmm. a hard shell. You lived there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad had a carpet kit. Oh, man. My, my and too, I never yeah. wore a seatbelt ever. My, my dad had the carpet kit, too, and it had like the big glass door that was like in the middle of the thing that opened up. It wasn't like... A glass door? It had a glass door in it. So like you took out the tailgate and it came all the way down and it had a door... Oh, old, you I know got those? You. So it's a wide like, yeah. part that flips open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, a yeah. like yeah. tall. It was like tall and in the middle. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. man, he went all out. And it was a he? carpet kit in there. That was cool. Oh yeah, we had a cool carpet kit. Yeah. Like on trips, mm -hmm. we I think I, I did I tell the story before. Probably. We had a generator that he oh, had like yeah. on a hitch. Oh no. Nice. And we ran a TV. Jeez. We had we had, yeah. Dude, we had a little TV tumbling around Nintendo? in there. Oh yeah. No. It was 
Sega? Uh, I think it was just... NES? Yeah, it was Super Nintendo. Super it was Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Yep. Yeah. Man, it was good. Cool. And, mm -hmm. yeah, eventually played N64 on there. Yeah. Whew. That cool. was good times. Pretty awesome. We even took that gray carpet kit. Mm -hmm. My mom, like, bought this dye because bought, we bought a new blue truck. Mm -hmm. and she bleached it to match. Wow. Or not bleached it, she colored it. Yeah. Looked terrible. Oh, yeah. But, man, it was fun. And it was hard as a rock I slept, after that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Slept back there. Man. Um, man, that's so fun. It's a wonder we didn't die, though. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we went all the way to Oregon. And, yeah. And me and my brother just laid in the back. Isn't that crazy? Scary. So weird. But yeah, you got that. You can lock up your valuables, you know, protection from weather and the bad people out there. You can seal gear. Yeah. I, I, so I'm going you with Mount the, your gas cans to the side of it. Yeah. Look way cool. Handyman Jack up there. Oh, yeah. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. So that's cool. No, they're great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Yep. So get your canopy. Yep. Get it done. Steve Stancil. <laughs> My plan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got something on that. I don't use later. a pen. I always use a pencil. <laughs> Steve Stancil. What's your stencil on this? <laughs> yeah. um, mm. My plan has always been to uh, bug in at home where my family and the supplies are. However, I live in a small Midwestern town with three maximum security prisons. Jeez Louise, bro. Over the 30 years I've lived here, um, we've had a few escapes over the 30 years to laugh that I, I mean, 30 <laughs> yeah, years, that I, I lived which here. always seems to result in a prisoner to, uh, trying to get as far away from here as possible. Thoughts about this. Um, mm -hmm. listen, you basically just told us you're an escapee. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to report your social, your social media name. Nice okay. try. The stencil sold it too. Yeah. I was like, don't move. Stand still. Pretty much. <laughs> stand still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a cop. <laughs> but yeah, mm -hmm. um, you know, I I would stay I'd stay put still. Yeah. For one, like you said, they're gonna they're trying to get further away. They're not gonna yeah. break out of prison and go to the next door house. See, here's here's my conundrum. But it's possible. Think about it. Possible. This. So depending on whatever the situation is, like have the inmates escaped? Have they been let out? And if that's so, if it's a disaster that's that bad, maybe they're not trying to run away. Maybe they're just like, I need shelter. That's true. I need I need food. I need gear. Your house has it. You know, some that could be something. So you might have to have a better bug out plan. But if your bug out location that. isn't too far away, mm -hmm. you're going to deal with it again with less Probably. supplies. Possibly. So it's tough. Unless it's tough more one. concealed. Of, That's in the only some thing. way, right? Yeah. I or, would just, if I lived in this prison. area, yeah, my bug out location would look like a guard tower or yeah. like a prison. They're not going to want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pass. That's just another. I won't get caught again. That's it's just a one, like a <laughs> yeah one acre <laughs> fenced off area. Yeah, that another prison. Jeez, going but, right past that. But yeah, but yeah, think about it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what your stencil is on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your stencil on that one? <laughs> um, Indiana preparedness consultations. I guess if you're in Indiana and you're looking for a preparedness consult, call these guys. Yeah, yeah, one eight hundred prepper. Probably. Utah preparedness consolations. Yeah. <laughs> How do you combat prepper fatigue as in the constant flow of the world will end in three days in social media? Then absolutely nothing happens over and over again. Um, I don't listen to any of it. Mm -hmm. But if you do, just use it to do the same stuff that we've been teaching you. Mm hmm and that brings me to another point. Only listen to us. No, because we're not going to do that to you. Yeah. We're just not. That's the whole thing. You just got to ignore most of it, you know? Like, keep that high-level interest in stuff that's going on. But other yeah. than that, don't... And in ways, it could, you know, motivate you to can, do a little more. But, but again, but, it comes back to what you're saying. You get that prepper fatigue when it's like every you do. day. Like, whoa. Yeah. The world's ending. Oh, it hasn't ended. Well, I calculated wrong. Yeah, it was the wrong calculation. I didn't think it was going to actually... Yeah, so just, you know, have basic... Try and get that basic information where you can, but just ignore that. Like, that's all just, it's stupid. I don't know why yeah. people continue to follow and listen to those people. I don't get it. I don't know what but whatever. fuels it either. Yeah. Whatever. But, yeah. Do whatever you want. Just prep, okay? Yeah. Don't get freaked out about mm -hmm. it. You all right? I can't drink this pop, Jeez, man. It's man. getting me. Okay. C.E. Martin. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have uh, to bug out after a countrywide blackout, mm -hmm. or would you rather have to try and get home from work after a countrywide blackout. Mm. Why? Countrywide. Yeah, countrywide. Countrywide. Bug out after or mm. get home after? 
a, right. a blackout. Yeah. Are you bugging out or are you getting home? Yeah. I would say I'd rather try to get home okay. knowing that my family is home with a plan safely sure. waiting for me to get there. I can see that. So that's what I'm going to say. I went with the opposite. Did you? I'm going to have to try and bug out because I if I, I assume if I'm bugging out, I'm with my family. <laughs> that's true. Too. So I can be there. That makes a little more sense. Well, I mean, it's it's the same though. I mean, you can look at it both ways. At least I'm but there. But you don't with have to them. worry about your yeah. family because they're bugging. Because they're in. with you. Because they're with you. Well, that too. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. So the other way is like, they're safe. If I get killed, it is what it is. Yeah. You hope they're safe. Yeah. You hope they're safe. You That's hope they're true. Safe. I don't know. Either way. Um, so I don't know. that We're split 50 we're 50. Split. Yeah. Right down the middle. Too bad. Yeah. Uh, Justin Soul. 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 Yeah. Has there been a moment you remember making a decision against a purchase or prepping action, deciding it was fear based rather than a practical buy? Mm hmm. This is a confusing question. No, Do you not. write test questions? Do I? The moment you remember making a decision against a purchase. Yeah. So like for a purchase or against a purchase? Against like you were gonna buy something and you're like, look, this And is, you didn't. And you didn't. Okay. Yep. That's where I was like, it's a little bit confusing. Yep. For me. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's um fine. AI would have got it right away. I've done they they would have. <laughs> they would have. Yeah. Um I mean, there's been several things where it's usually like a more expensive thing. And I'm like, am I just using this mm -hmm. also to yep. get what I want? Yep. But um, where I've like wanted to buy more ammo or buy an AR-15 or mm -hmm. something like that where I'm like, I, I just don't really need it. And I'm probably leading, I'm, I'm looking into things a little bit too yeah. uh, heavily. It's like, this is probably not going to come and happen. Right. So like there I, have been, I, I think the election thing was one mm -hmm. and COVID was one where it really like scrambled my brain. Sure. It's like, yeah. I got to buy stuff that really is not that necessary. Yeah. Like I did. I And do, some of it I did. You did. I yeah. did buy. That's, yeah. And sometimes that's okay. But I did have a moment in, I think it was the last election might've been the one before, um, like we talked about before, but um, where I was, I was going to buy a whole bunch of long-term food storage and then a, a battery bank. I didn't have like a good like backup solar battery bank. And, and I was like, I wasn't sure what I was going to buy. So I was just going to like, screw it. I need to buy it. This election's coming. People are talking and this is getting crazy. But then I'm like, wait, like that's stupid. I shouldn't just buy something because of the, this election. Yeah. And I did stop myself from doing it. It was just all, you kind of get all hyped up with the excitement around the things that are happening. And you're like, ooh, I'm going to buy this. I got to use it. Let me come, Arnold. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> I need to get that power bank. <laughs> um, but no, then I stopped myself. And yeah. I didn't. That's a good job. Yeah. It's a good job on it's your part. It's a good part. job on my part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one. Um, it happens. But some of it, in a way, you're like, maybe I just need to get some more. It's true. Yeah. So and, and I didn't use it that way. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe I ain't. Mm -hmm. I'm not serious enough about it. Yeah. Evan Van. I don't know if you look at that. It might be Evan Van. <laughs> <laughs> you got no Evan Van. Evan Van. Um, do you think you would be able to beat 27 year old kids in a fight to the death? No weapons. And the kids are wicked out on Mountain Dew and Pixie Sticks. Can you survive? Yes. No problems at all. Look, I, I teach a primary class that is exactly these kids. And I was oh, thinking yeah. about it. I'm like, if those kids, easy. I like several kicks and punches, shoves. I'm going to take 20 of them out minimal damage to myself. It's not even going to be that hard. There's going to be a bunch of dead kids laying on the ground. Um, I'm going to be really tired probably at the end of it, slightly sad, but I will be victorious. Yeah, okay. That's where I'm going. Kobe's like been thinking about taking out seven-year-olds for a while Well, now. I just, I was thinking about it the other day because one of them little suckers slapped me, like kind of being funny, but Ooh, came up and slapped me. No kidding. On Sunday. Ooh, I'd have been... I would have got to me. It, my wife looked at me like, oh, what's happening here? What's yeah. He was trying to be funny, but he still like slapped me. And then I, your mother's milk, boy. I was like, <laughs> I got, I was like, whoa, I'm so mad. <laughs> then I like calmed down. And so I'm like, I've gotten really mad. Like I had a kid throw a crayon at me. Yeah. And he kind of has a little bit of a mental thing, but sure. it like, man, instantly I'm like, oh, super mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I got to calm down. But I really think I could. I don't think it'd be a problem. Yeah. I really don't. They're they're too slow. They're yeah. too uncoordinated. They're too little. Yeah, thinking about the age more, I think I'd be fine too. Seven years. It's like old. 20's a lot. Yeah, but seven year olds are pretty You could take out five or six yeah. and I put one in here. Swipe. I was like, I would just like pull out my phone and be like, mm. here, 
Look at this few saved videos of TikTok, and sure. they'd be like glued to it. Yeah. You should break all their necks. Break all their stupid little <laughs> necks. Yeah. So yeah, they're pretty easily distracted. They give up, mm -hmm. and it's too hard. Yeah, it's like I, I still don't think it'd be that. You could you could like yeah. like the like three seven, Stooges seven. smack their heads together. <laughs> they'd be down, you know. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Probably take out ten and one. You sweep. could just grab one of them and just start swinging him around. Oh yeah, and the others will cower. Yeah, and Whoa. you'll just hit them. Yeah. You know, mow them all down with the other's head. <laughs> just grab his feet and swing That's him. That's true. You know? And I guarantee they don't have the courage to continue after they see one get taken. Yeah, down. they're done. So. Yeah. Then it's easy picking. Where's my mom? <laughs> Can yeah. I get a snack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were part of this. Yeah, you wanted to do this, not <laughs> me. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. You chose this. <laughs> you chose death. <laughs> not me. When you picked on me, you chose death. Yeah. Yeah. Now shut up. Let me finish um, this church lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one came from John Beach. John Beach. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a good name. He's literally son of a beach. <laughs> Mama's a beach. He really Dad's is a, a beach. son of a beach. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you could only plant one type of fruit tree to survive, what would it be? This is a really good question. Yeah. What'd you get in Cam? I did lemon. Man. Really? Lemon is deemed one of the probably if not the most healthy fruit yeah but you're it's gonna hard eat to eat a lemon all, i know you're gonna I know. your gut is gonna be tore up yeah it is yep you're gonna be pooping like straight citrus yep. like i know that's the whoa. thing i'm like i'd probably go more with something that tastes good right that i like like mm -hmm. an orange yeah but if you're going for survival i'd probably go with a lemon i went with a banana. i ain't getting no scurvy no i went with banana Banana's a good choice. Think about it. You got high carbs, tons of nutrients. You can dry them. You can make banana bread. Mm -hmm. I'm going with banana. I get sick of banana. I actually don't I do like too. bananas. I'm not huge on bananas, but I'm definitely not eating a lemon every day. <laughs> There's no. no way. That's true. Can't criticize a banana. <laughs> yeah. I said lemon. You said lemon. I think face. cherry would be my, probably one of my, like a rainier cherry Again, tree. Again, pooping like crazy. Oh, I'd deal with that cherry. anyway. <laughs> Was well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well enjoy what I'm eating yeah, exactly. and do it. And you can spit but cherries, bits man, it's got a lot of good uses. In yeah, it. okay. I don't. I still feel like mine's better. Bananas better. Yeah, it is what it is. I I don't like bananas, and I guess if you're feeding just your family, you're good. But right, like at work, that's like mm -hmm. I'd say probably the most common allergic banana medicine. Yeah, or uh, really? food. Yep. Banana. When we do food allergy testing, it's like always banana. That's so weird. I know. I thought it was weird too. Huh. So. But hey, whatever. Nobody's gonna eat your bananas. No, I, I'm gonna live. It's tons of nutrients. <laughs> yeah, and I can eat it every day. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what's really good? What self reliant medical care? I agree. There's a lot of stuff that goes into prepping. You gotta think about too many things: food, water, mm -hmm. power, mm -hmm. protection. Mm -hmm. Don't forget self reliant medical care. People don't understand the urgent care is gonna close at some point. Yeah, eventually. ER is not going to be available. No. So you need to take matters into your own hands and get the Prepper's Medical Handbook. It is written by an MD. His name's William W4G. Don't yeah. forget it. It's not, easy to remember. It's not 5G. No. <laughs> and it's, it's not 4G. 5G. <laughs> um, he provides the basis of prevention and identification of long-term management of survivable medical conditions. Basically, the stuff that you should know mm -hmm. and the things you don't, you can do them yourself with this book. So get it. Mm -hmm. It is easy to read. It has pages and pictures. That's all you need, right? Okay, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, I do like it because it uh, helps you build your own fact, know what medicines to take, mm -hmm. and manage the medical conditions your family's going to experience when on their own. So you need that book. Okay. Um, go and get it at PreppersMedicalHandbook.com or go to Amazon, like everyone else, and order one today. Beautiful. Seriously, it's a great book. It is. Brian uh, Alatalo. 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 Mm -hmm. In a post-apocalyptic scenario, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to become a ter uh, territorial leader or warlord. Do you keep your own names or do you pick something a little more awe-inspiring or terrifying? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Cam and Kobe are cool names, but not really warlord cool, but more cool like a couple of dudes that work at American Eagle and know a lot. I mean, a lot. 
<laughs> about different fits of jeans. <laughs> I guess you could do uh, you could just add the dentist to your names mm. and the proper amount of respect and terror would be present. That's, <laughs> that's the so, truth. That's this so is true. so well written. Kobe the dentist. This is good. The I dentist. like this. Yeah, I don't know, man. And I do wear American Eagle jeans. Thank you? you. Yeah, oh, they're nice. great. They fit. They're stretchy mm. and pretty cheap. Are they? Nice. Mm. I'll have to go look at that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I went with uh, Cobra Kai, the fizzy fisted barbarian. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Yeah, that's going to creep you out. <laughs> yeah. It's I scary. went with one eyed Cambo mm. or Hardy the one eyed. Hardy the one eyed. That seemed like yeah. probably keep you away. You're yeah. like, why did you lose that eye? You I don't want to find out. I'm going to stay on his bad life side. <laughs> Something. Yep. Yeah. There you go. That's a good one. This one came from Ashley Eagle. Oh, even more American. Maybe, maybe the middle name's American. <laughs> Ashley American Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh, was, I was trying to sound like an eagle. I don't think that was a great book. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Uh, if you could only watch one SHTF apocalyptic movie or show, what would it be? Yeah, that's a really tough one. But look, if Signs is available and that's on the list, I'm watching it. I am too. Like, I don't care what anyone says. It came to my mind right away because mm-hmm. it's funny. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's eerie. It's funny. Suspenseful. It's also fun. And I love the actors in it. Yeah, it's okay? really good. It's a great movie. Yep. And World War Z, War of the Worlds, or okay. other ones I, I like to watch. Probably World War Z a little bit more than World War um, Red Dawn, it's Children of too. Men, actually no, a very well-made it. film. Yeah, so anyways. There's a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is my turn. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Michael Tree Trees Eyes. Trees Eyes. Trees Eyes. Trees Eyes. Trees Eyes. Okay. Okay. So SHTF happened. Let's just say the zombie apocalypse to set the stage. Okay. You are stuck at your favorite major theme park, considering the available resources, shelter, and other theme park guests and staff to contend with. Which park would you want to have to hole up in and why? Disney, Universal, Six Flags, SeaWorld, Dolly World, Cedar Point, or any other you would prefer? Okay. Um, yeah, this is really tough. I'm going to go with Disney World. That's good. I've never actually been there, but actually I'm going next week, weirdly enough. Um, look, oh. I know. It's 25,000 acres. Wow. Pretty large. Lots of space to hide and survive hole up in different, you know, little nooks and crannies. It's hard to find you, probably. Mm -hmm. It has Animal Kingdom. So it has all those animals that you could like. It does have a lot of stuff. You could eat them and raise them for, (laughs) you know, giraffe milk and meat if you had to or whatever. (laughs) Yeah. All the different plant life. Go along with the the lemons that you got. Yeah, a bunch Mm. of lemon, giraffe, pasta, (laughs) you know. Sounds good. Lemon, giraffe, meringue. Yeah, that's right. Now, lots of different water sources there. Epcot actually oh, has... Oh, man, it does have a lot, doesn't it? It has the greenhouses. They have this huge greenhouse. I've um, never been either, so I, I haven't either. even know what it had. But I looked it up online. I got it on the internet. It's a good idea. Um, and then they got those monorails and those boats for transportation. I think you're pretty set with Disney World. It's pretty good, I think. I don't think you can beat it. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's good. Maybe. I went with SeaWorld. Okay. Just because yeah. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know what's has a lot on. to eat. I mean, you could eat any of the fish in there, probably. Whale blubber for days. Yeah. And then, I mean, you got fun rides, too. Something to do. Right. You've got a lot of places to eat there. Mm-hmm. And um, you got trained killer whales. Mm. Pretty good defense, mm. right? Yeah. Maybe Just if you, like... people in the water, I guess. Yeah. Right? Or have, like... Yeah. You could basically... People are storming the place. You just go where they have to cross the water. They'll die. <laughs> okay. I get you that. got dolphins, man. They could go and do all kinds of things for you. Yeah, I don't know what, but something probably, <laughs> I right? I didn't think that much into it. <laughs> yeah, the dolphins. But they're smart, Yeah, and I know I could do something with them. Right. Maybe ride them. Ride a dolphin. Yeah, so they could train it to go get other things for I'm you. eat a dolphin. <laughs> like, you're going to pet a dolphin. I'm going to pet a dolphin. <laughs> You know that movie? Yeah, I'm okay. trying to think of which one it is. Uh, I mul- can't think. Multiplicity. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a good yeah. movie. I'm going to eat so a good. dolphin. I'm going to eat a dolphin. <laughs> no, you're going to pet right. a dolphin. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pet yeah. a dolphin. Just watch that not too long Dude, ago, too. It's such a good Forgot movie. It. My kids love it, so we watch it all the time. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, is this one yours? I read Michael you know, Treese's. Okay. Mick Treese. Love and Pew Life. Oh, um, yeah. If SHTF, while you was at the store and decided to leave... And on your way to your vehicle, you saw a kid, four to five years old, crying over their dead parents. Mm. Would you take the kid with you or leave him or her? 
Yeah. Well, I don't want him to get seven and I got to fight him. Yeah. So I, I'd probably just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets seven years old, I'm going to have to fight him. That's true. No. Um, I think you got to take that kid, man. I know. You know, like, obviously, I'm not going to just, like, keep him. He's not my kid now. But He's I, your kid now. <laughs> no, but I'm going to take him somewhere, like, Red Cross or something. Sea um, World. See, let the dolphins deal with him, <laughs> you know? Yeah. That'd Raise be tough. my dolphins. That'd be tough. I, uh, I think I'd be more open to adopting one that's moldable. Yeah. That could be helpful and not have his own weird yeah. parent Ugh. opinions. My dad used to rub my feet every night. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> just like so weird I don't know, stuff. probably what, like age zero to seven, okay. maybe, Yeah, that you could still work with them. Yeah. And, you know, the little ones are cute. They're easy. But once right. they start getting a little older, you're like, I hate you. Yeah. You're annoying. Yeah, but they can do more work. That's true. Right? If they'll do it. You don't have to keep They do it or they're not going to get any food. <laughs> still, right? I don't know that they would do it. I don't know either. But. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's on them to die, right? It's their choice. Hey, you didn't you didn't do what I told I you. I didn't kill your parents. So you know? So yeah. I mean the younger ones, I'm gonna help. He might the other turn ones into I'll Batman. just step over them. Yeah, hurt. sorry about your parents. Yeah. Dead, huh? Crying, yes. huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. He yeah, probably should be surviving, boy. Yeah, Batman didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, son. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, Dan Trod. I kind of damn trodden right now. <laughs> damn trodden. Damn trodden. He's a little damn trodden. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you see any benefit in holding Bitcoin as part of your prep? I do. Yeah, I do too. Um, sure. it's yeah, it's all over the place. The thing is, mm. like, I would probably invest more if I didn't make poor financial decisions <laughs> yeah. in the beginning. Um, yeah. So I'm doing all the tried and true ways of investment. Because yeah. in reality, the world probably won't end, and I'll have to yeah. retire, and that's the biggest yeah. fear I have in life. Retiring? Yeah. yeah with no money? Yep. I, I'm right there with you. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I think, you know, we did an episode on this a long, long time And I do ago. have some. I do too. So... Um, yeah, I mean, it's great to diversify. So, I mean, this is obviously is not financial advice, but it's always good to diversify whatever you got. Um, you know, it's great because Bitcoin is anonymous. It's very private. It's better than banks, you know, in that fiat currency where it's like everybody, yeah. you can, yeah. Um, you can store it and move it digitally, which is really easy to move. It's decentralized. It's accepted everywhere yeah. around the globe. It's super secure. Um, the value can go up, but it can also go way down. Yeah, it too, jumps so all over the place. Um, but I mean, since I, I mean, I'm up like almost 80%, I think on what I put in there. But again, you don't know. You yeah. could lose all your cash and your Bitcoins. Um, but I don't know. It's something. It is something. It's not, I mean, I don't think it's Where it's so tied bad. to the digital devices is where my it gets tough. is. Sure. Absolutely. But, but so is the money in your bank. I know. So That's is the, the stock thing, that you own. Right? It's all the same. So it's like- don't rely on it as like yeah. your primary means of wealth. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, unless you've got cash in hand under your mattress, exactly. it's all digital. Yeah. It's all digital. It doesn't really matter. So, is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's Don't that you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Dan Sam Old Stadsfold. That's a good one. Stan old, Sam Old Stadsfold. Sam Old Stadsfold. Stadsfold. Yeah. Sam Old Stadsfold. <laughs> That, that yeah. guy's crazy. Same old Stadsfold. Yeah. Well, my pappy always said, same old Stadsfold. <laughs> same old Stadsfold. Um, what are some of your favorite prepper-themed books? I love the One Second After series. Aurora was excellent. The Th Themis files were incredible. I'm always looking for more books to add to my library. On that note, have you ever thought about starting a prepper book club? It could include historical books also. Well, um, guess what? What we kind of have a club, just we, not a just not with you book club. Yeah, we do have our own book club. Um, look, if you're looking for one, I think the all time greatest is Lucifer's Hammer. It's my favorite of all time. It's older, written in the 70s, but it's like a commentary impact on Earth and like the struggle to survive afterwards. It's the best. What's the comment? Uh, comment. Commentary. Yeah, I know. Um, a Last Babylon is another good one. The Stand, obviously. Tomorrow by Philip Wiley. All these are kind of classics. I usually tend to go for more classic books, but those are ones I really like. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I read one second after that, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not a big reader. Mm -hmm. um, Kobe's bringing me around to fiction, though. Yeah, for sure, huh? So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the books that I have read are, are usually like 
real events, endurance, yeah. uh, adrift. I've read a lot of those that I yeah. like and I think are useful. But You like people on boats. <laughs> I do like people mm-hmm. on boats. Found out my ancestors did some boating. Thought I'd read about <laughs> survivalism. Yeah, they got on a boat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yep. I don't have a lot to input on that one. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Von Leckerman. 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 Von Leckerman. <laughs> Leckerman in the house. <laughs> Like a man in a house. Like a man, like a woman. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. He like a man. <laughs> he like a man. <laughs> like, like a man, man do it. <laughs> <laughs> Take this sucker, lick it, man. <laughs> Take this sucker. <laughs> I'm an adult telling another adult. <laughs> Take this sucker, lick a man. Lick it, man. Lick it, man. <laughs> Try it. Uh, um, with the pole shifting coming and... um. With the pole shift coming and need to be at an elevation of 10,000 feet or higher, Mm -hmm. what's the plan? (laughs) Current plan is a jet ski in a hot air balloon. Gosh dang. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, But with my four cats, I'm not sure how to keep them from popping the balloon. Yeah, cats. Look at man. Look at man. man. I don't fly up there about 10,000. I got a hot air balloon. (laughs) Look at man. Look at man. A pole shift's coming. Yeah. Look at man. (laughs) Uh, what kind of power supply will run my air fryer? Stay survived. Get that Jackery Explorer 1000. It'll do it. Yeah. I looked it up. Yeah. But the, uh, I'm pretty sure the one I have will at least get it, probably get one cooking out of it. Okay. Cool. Because it'll, it'll, it has like a 1800 uh, watt peak. Oh, yeah. I don't think an air fryer uses that much power. I don't know nothing about nothing, though. You can basically get a microwave to go on that. Cool. That's awesome. Probably only run two minutes, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway, I don't, um, I don't know about but yeah, the pole shift thing though. I don't know what you're gonna do. I there. don't. Uh, did they say you're supposed to be at ten thousand? I think it's all about the flooding and whatnot. Well, we're only like fifteen hundred feet away from that where we live. Yeah. So we not too hard. We'll just run up. The mountain. We'll just run up the mountain real quick. Yeah, we're, we're almost go. at ten thousand already. Yeah. So this one came from David Winkler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you could only have one blade. I almost think. <laughs> I say I swear I have a high school teacher that his name was David. Mr. Winkler. Winkler. So Mr. Winkler. Hey, Mr. Winkler. You still teaching Spanish? <laughs> si, senor. <laughs> um, if you could only have one bladed item in your bug out bag, what would you choose? Hmm? I yeah. What? It's the What'd same one that you pick. It's boring. Yeah. That's the one that's in my bug out bag. I'm doing so. the tops field craft. It's a great knife, man. It's a good knife. Good, solid, reasonably priced knife. Yeah. Survival. It's got knife. some bushcrafting ability. Yeah. It's man, it's a thick old blade. Like mm-hmm. I've used, I've whacked that thing hard. You whacked that thick <laughs> blade. Thick yeah. old whacker. Whacked. <laughs> Super thick wacky. Yeah, it's blade. a good blade. Mm-hmm. Solid man. I've yeah. put it to the test too. So what do you think about that, Senor Winkler? <laughs> Go get your field craft. Yeah, Senor Winkler. <laughs> it probably is him. That'd be super weird. Yeah. It's like what the heck? I didn't know that was Cam. That one idea he had to came to class before. <laughs> Meal deals. <laughs> Meal deals. Oh. Um, no bueno. Yeah. Um, was that, G- you read that, huh? Yeah. Fondanza. 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 Did you watch the movie Civil War? Thoughts on it and how close do you think we are to it? I didn't get a chance to go see this. Kobe invited me mm. and I turned him he down. He said no. I said, I don't got it. I don't want to go. My so. wife says no. I said no too. Yep. So. I did watch it. It was pretty good. Um, not obviously what I had hoped for, but it was entertaining enough. I don't think we're very close, to be honest with you. I don't think it's something you should worry about. Uh, it's a long ways off and uh, just don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, right. I don't think you're going to have no civil war. I really don't. No. I can't see it happening. No, people are too lazy. That's a lot of work. <laughs> That's true, too. It is a lot of work to get in a That is war, true, too. You know? so And no. most of the ones that are saying anything are the least likely to go to a battle. They've never and seen they, a gun in their life. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to be... You, for one, you don't have to worry about them. Yeah. No. If they do get in your way. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry so, about it. No. Don't worry. Fond downs. Fond downs. Fond downs. Yeah. Is it you? Your turn. Is it? I re- okay, maybe it's my turn. D.I. Park. I don't even know. I don't even, it doesn't matter. D.I. Park asks, <laughs> it's like we're, there's like a whole bunch of D.I.s all in one place. <laughs> it's a D.I. Park. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Oh, man. All in one place. Love it. Greetings from sunny Scotland. 
Do you have plans to do any more of the five questions episodes for the podcast? I really enjoy your talks with various other prepper and survival related people. The different viewpoints and takes on things were interesting. Cheers, lads. I don't know if you're really from Scotland. Is it sunny there? Yeah. I thought it was always like yeah, dreary, yeah, which know. makes it even more appealing. Yeah, man, no, that's where I want to go. I'd love to go to Scotland. Me too. My wife wants to go there pretty bad. Can we come stay, D.I.? <laughs> you got an extra room in your Scot- Scottish cottage? In your kilt? In your kilt. <laughs> got other- Can we fit in your kilt with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Look, uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do any more of those. Look. Um, number one, they just didn't get the downloads that our regular episodes did, which really blew my mind. Yeah. To be honest with you, it was about half of the downloads as our regular episodes, which I cannot figure out. Maybe we were just that bad at interviewing probably, people. Probably. Because some of our guests were really big guests. Like we had some legit people on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Nobody wanted to listen. Yeah. It was yeah. like, I, I really enjoyed the knowledge and talking with them. Like all of them were awesome, mm-hmm. but I'm not good at it. Mm. And I usually, I still remember <laughs> like, uh, oh, who was some of the ones we talked to? I can't remember off. Like, but I was like, how's the weather? I'm like, what the hell? What the <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Gosh, dang it. Yeah. yeah. I no, just, it was just awkward Yeah, and I'm not good at it. And it's just not as fun. For I wasn't us. super. I wasn't super sad that we haven't done very many. So yeah. I'm sorry, Di Park. It wasn't the funnest I've had doing podcast yeah. stuff. So. Yep, it is what it is. So it's done. Yeah, it's done. Well, uh, for the most part, uh, guys. Today's podcast is brought to you by Tac Pack. It is the only tactical subscription box with useful professional grade stuff inside. Use our code Casual Preppers and get a free seventy dollar machine made part from Next Level armament that's next level that is next level and you got to go get it especially if you got ars and stuff like that man this stuff is it's the perfect box oh yeah if father's day's coming up just get that for your dad daddy gonna that's love true it. that's a great box daddy that. gonna love it okay <laughs> get it yeah but that's all the questions we have today um so i don't know that's it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't know what to say either, so <laughs> you just said uh, what I was thinking. That's all we got. Thank you guys so much for listening. We really appreciate you. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please just go hit subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Yeah, it'd be good for you. Leave us a, a five-star review, too, please. That like, really helps us out when you guys do that. Also, please go follow and like and subscribe to our new podcast. This podcast is a secret. There's a couple episodes out right now. It's so much fun. It's great. I think you guys are going to like it. Yeah. Okay? Um, We would really appreciate you to just go hit subscribe right now and really make us happy. Yeah. We'll give you a second. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it. Yep. Push subscribe right there. Thank you. Uh, That was wonderful. We appreciate you guys. Stay survived.